Good day, this is Sedlow. Welcome to the DCS Mission Editor tutorial series. Uh, today I will pass on to you the most important and sometimes hardest to learn lesson about making missions in DCS. Uh, first of all, here we are on the Syria map. This is mission number two of the F-16 campaign I uh, started creating years ago, right when the Syria map came out, I started it on this. Um, as you can see up at the title here, this is version 100 of this mission. And what that means is when I make these missions, I, um, I have the story in my head, I've written it down, the plot, if you will. I've got the, uh, the voiceovers written down and I plunk everything down into the mission and I fly it and that's version 001. And then you, uh, you fly, you adjust, you fly, you adjust, you fly, you adjust, you fly, you adjust. We're up to version 100 here. So uh, that's just one of 14 missions that have similar uh, amounts of edits to them. And you know, each mission that I make, um, if you are familiar with the mission editor and you've flown my missions, you probably realize how much work's involved. Um, if you don't ever go into the mission editor, there's um, a ton of triggers, with a ton of conditions, and a ton of actions, voiceovers, explosions, scripts, whatever. These all, every single one has to be tested. And they have to be tested in different scenarios different conditions and a test to adjust, test to adjust. And when you get into this mission making, sometimes you, you hit a groove, right? You're just like, test adjust, test adjust, test adjust. And then you, you run into a problem, uh, something's not working, and it could be something you've done 20 triggers previous. Uh, it's a problem you have to go and find, be a detective and solve. Uh, sometimes it's a DCS problem, right? But finding that problem there's a bit of a thrill in that, uh, sort of like a detective, right? You, you found the culprit. Um, I guess what I'm saying is it's a lot of work. Um, and uh, it's all worthwhile though, when you fly the mission and everything works and it's even better when other people fly it and they tell you that they really like it. Uh, it's not any better feeling mission making than that. All right, so where am I going with this? Ah, yes, the lesson. Um, along the top here, you've got a bunch of uh, menu items here, uh, and along the left here, there's a bunch of uh, different buttons. You know, you can adjust your weather, put your triggers in, put zones in, put units in. The most important button though here is uh, down here on the lower left. This will take you back to the main menu. And then the other uh, most important button is uh, here, it's the exit button and that will take you to your desktop and you're like hey Sedlow I thought this was a DCS mission editor tutorial and uh, yes it is this is the most important lesson to know um, making missions is fun and uh, and it's really uh, rewarding when it's done but it can take up a lot of time now, if you're doing this for income, if this is your full-time job, I think it might be easier because you can plot out, uh, here's my eight, nine, or 10 hours a day, five days a week that I'm going to do this. And outside of that, I have my lifetime, my free time. And uh, if you're not making money out of this, uh, such as me, um, you have a job that takes eight to 10 hours a day, five or six days a week, and then you have your free time and it's very easy to let DCS um, play too much of a role in your free time because it's fun it's challenging uh, it's rewarding and people like it and if you're kind of a people pleaser type person like I am <clears throat> it uh, might make you spend too much time in DCS so uh, what's the point of this story I like stories. Yes, I do. I do like stories. Um, the point is, it's easy to spend too much time here. Um, don't do that. Set limits for yourself. Um, if you 
find that you're spending too much time and other aspects of your life are uh, getting less attention, exit it, man. Um, step away from it for a day, for a week, for a month, for a year, or, you know, step away from it entirely. Uh, don't let this game, yes, it's a video game, I don't care what anyone says, um, take too much of your, your life. Yeah, it's led me to reevaluate uh, my time left uh, at the end of the day to uh, to spend more time on things that are more important. Now, I'm not quitting DCS, but I am taking a bit of a break from mission making and uh, video making, probably. And um, I'll continue to support, of course, the missions I've got out there. Uh, so far, everything's been running well. But, um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm readjusting my work-life balance a bit. So uh, you'll be seeing less content. Valiant Tiger will be on the shelf. I'll work on it when I can, but you know what? It may never get released, um, and that's okay. Uh, so yeah, what's the point of the story? Yes, take your time. Make sure your work-life balance is in check. Make sure your life part of that is not uh, too much DCS, okay? Because I know um, if you're into mission making like I am, it, it can be a bit of a, a time suck. Yeah, that's all I've got to say about that. I hope you all have a great day. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.